Hi, this is Sean. This video is for one of my students who wanted to know about how to make a hinge constraint. So here we go. In the actor classes, we go on to physics, and here's a hinge actor. Let's drag this onto the screen. And let's take a quick look at the arrow. The arrow is the direction the hinge will pivot around. Okay, then the next step is having at least two K actors. So here's one K actor and the second K actor. I don't want this to move at all or fall down. So what I did was I went and modified the physics and set the physics to none under movement. But otherwise it's pretty much set. This one we could even wake it on level start if we wanted. Just so that you can immediately see that the pivots are working. So here's the actor that we dragged onto the screen, the hinge actor. I'm going to add the constraints to so the top and the bottom. And to do that, I need to lock the selected actor so that I can select and add the, the constraint. So there we go, and you can see that the constraints are working. And if you need to, it's good to check all the angles to see, you know, in terms of how this constraint's going to work. So that should pretty much be fine. Let's give it a try, and that should do it. Yeah, you can see that it's already shaking. So. Right on. And this is a really great, uh, the hinge actor is a really great thing to to use in terms of like making hinge lights even. You can attach a uh, moving light to a hinge actor to create some really nice effects. Alright, thanks so much for watching.